D Lo 404 boxing and more. Shout out to the LDBC. Shout out to Coach Sheldon Harrison. Check out the um live stream with him. Listen to his commentary of the fight. Also we had a Trey X commentary playing on my other phone. Shout out to Trey X Marlowe's Corner. Um welcome back to the channel. My subscribers and repeat viewers. Welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, if you haven't subscribed, ask that you please subscribe, hit that bell icon. Um Terrence Crawford. Pretty much dominated the fight. Had some early feeling out rounds um, versus Jose Benavidez. Benavidez, you know, got in, you know, got in some good work early on. Um, I felt like Benavidez was very defensive and a little bit relying too much on counters. Didn't really want to engage a whole lot with Crawford. Tried to bait Crawford in to get Crawford to overcommit so that he could land something. But Crawford's too smart a fighter for that. Never fell for it. Um, Crawford pretty much got in and out. You know, sometimes he got caught coming out, but most of the time he got in and out and um, did what he had to do. Fight went on. Uh, longer And the more the fight went on, the more Benavidez, Benavidez um, offensive output went down. Um, he just got to, you know, he was doing a lot of posturing, trying to get Crawford to come in. And every time Crawford would tag him, he'd just posture and act like the, it didn't hurt him. And then eventually, um, I'd say probably like late 10th round, Benavidez went for broke, came up short. And it was pretty much after that, it was, all, it was all downhill until Crawford eventually got him out of there with less than a minute left and uh, probably less than 30 seconds left in the final round. Uh, caught him with a slick uppercut, nasty uppercut when they were in close. It dropped him, Benavidez fell down on his head. And then when he got up, um, Crawford finished him against the ropes with an uh, overhand right. All right. After the fight, they put the mic in Terrence Crawford's face. They start asking him who he wants next. Crawford talked about, um, you know, basically said that he wants them all. Said it's not up to him to, you know, make the fights with the guys. up to him to want the fights. And basically said, you know, basically that old Manny Pacquiao line. I talked to my promoter. You know, um, he, he kind of came with that. I was a little disappointed in that. I wanted to hear him uh, wanted to hear him call Spence out. You know, I wanted him to say, hey, I want Errol Spence. Or I wanted to hear him say, I want um, Sean Porter. I I can't say I blame him for not calling out Keith Thurman. Uh, Keith Thurman's not even boxing right now. I mean, Keith Thurman's going on two years away from the sport. But I, I definitely would have loved for him to call out the two active, current, Section and body champions in the welterweight division live on on this um app. Uh, should I say live on TV because it's pretty much on everybody's TV. You know, um, it, it's lack of commitments like that to to just basically commit and say, "Hey, I want this guy next." Is is, is what's you know what's keeping the fans arguing back and forth about stuff. I mean, I, I'm to the point. And I pretty much have been. I mean, I, I support both guys, uh, Bud and Errol Spence. Um, and I'm not going to engage in the argument over who will win the fight. I'm not going to engage in the argument over who wants to fight and who don't want to fight. I just look at it like this. These guys, they they have a um, mic in their face. And they have an opportunity to really say what they want. And it's like they, they never can figure out how to say the right thing at the right time. And it's, and it's possible that. You know, um, what my first belief is and what I think a lot of people believe is that these guys have made their minds up that they want this fight to build. And if they feel like they can beat everybody they need to beat before they come together and they can make the fight as big as it could possibly be and make as much money as possible. And, and, and you know, uh, who knows? They may be talking behind the scenes about that. We don't know. Um, but enough about that. Once again... Bud Crawford, 12th round stoppage. He looked good tonight. He got touched up a little bit here and there, but for the most part, it was a a, a dominant performance. Um, you know, fight went on a lot longer than a lot of people probably thought. But uh, like I said, Benavidez, Benavidez was there to survive after yeah after a certain point in the fight. He he like he made his mind up. He was just gonna he's gonna take a take a chance here and there, try to catch Bud with something coming in. But other than that, it's like his his primary goal was to to make it to that final bill. 
And even having that type attitude, he still fell short. So, you know, with that said, shout out to Bud Crawford. Shout out to his team. Um, shout out to Benavidez for um, coming out there and trying. Um, don't know what's next for him. And quite frankly, don't know what's next for Crawford. I, I know uh, Jeff Horn's talking about if he can beat, he can win his next fight, that he wants Crawford at Suncorp for a rematch over in Australia. I'm hoping that. Bob Arum is not on board with that. I'm hoping Terrence Crawford ain't on board with that, but who knows? It could be a big money fight, and you know, nowadays that's all the you know, fighters seem to be concerned about is um, making the most money possible. You know, um, I, I think they they <laughs> I think they've taken the term prize fighting too literal and realizing that the prize in in money isn't the only prize in prize fighting. You know, and um, that a lot of these guys aren't, aren't really getting that. All they're thinking about is, um, you know, the biggest person possible. We got some guys that actually think about taking the, the path of least resistance, you know. But um, I'm not saying Crawford one of those guys, but there are guys out there like that. So once again, shout out to Crawford. Shout out to his team. Um, <laughs> fight wasn't as spectacular as I thought it would be, but you know, the, it ended. It ended good. I mean, it was uh, probably the last three, four rounds. Well, it, it started to heat up. And got pretty exciting. So, on that note, I'm going to get on out of here. Excuse me. A shout out to the LDBC. Shout out to New Media once again. Shout out to Coach Sheldon Harrison for um, putting on a, a, a really great um, play-by-play or blow-by-blow analysis. And a uh, shout out to Trey X on Marlowe's Corner for putting on a great blow-by-blow analysis. Getting commentary. I'm out of here. Peace.